All right, guys, we're gonna start with triceps first, then we're gonna transition to biceps, see how big a pump we can get. Again, my arm training is never gonna be heavy, heavy, heavy. It's all gonna be moderate loads, big squeeze, lots of pump, lots of intensity, very, very fast pace. So let's get after it. All right, coming off that dual arm cast extension at a huge pump. I'm gonna go into a stretch, so that's why we're using the cast handles on this prime bar. The reason I use that prime bar is so that it aligns perfectly with my shoulder width. So this is perfect alignment and setup for me. Get back, stretch. You notice I paused every single rep in the stretch position for a count of like one, maybe one or two. Then fire out and really rotate my wrist away from the cable stack to get a big contraction on the long head of my tricep. From there, I went over to that old school body master dip. Now, if you notice, I'm only going about halfway. That's because that machine gets really light through the mid range and through the fully stretched position. It's only heavy in the contraction position. So that's the only area I wanna work. Since I'm already stretching with the vertical extension and it's the second part of a superset, all I'm thinking about is driving down, squeeze my triceps, the long head as hard as humanly possible. I love this little superset, especially in that old school body masterpiece because it forces me to only really work the true contraction position. The meat and potatoes of the tricep here was a rest pause on the incline dumbbell skull crusher. And to kind of wrap that up even more to put a finishing touch on it, since I did get a few less reps in the second set and third set than I really wanted, I went over to the barbell, laid backwards on a flat bench, and did 10 behind my head to really focus on the stretch. And then I rotated and did 10 to my eyes. I did two kind of fill sets of 12 with the 25 and the 30, and then with the 35 did my work, and then finished up with that barbell. two sets of the crossbody extension single arm to really isolate and focus on just the lateral head of my tricep to finish up triceps before we get into bicep. Yeah. 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 
right, start biceps. We did the standing one arm dumbbell curl. And you notice I kind of lean into that, staying on one leg, keep my shoulder down. Because my shoulders are so dominant and empowering, I need to keep them out of my bicep and tricep training as much as humanly possible. So you notice that's why I do that, I kind of lean into it a little bit, staying on one leg to try to keep that front delt completely isolated. Worked up to a hard set of six to eight, then did a back down set of 10 with the 20s. All right, super set time for biceps. Hammer curls, as you guys know, if you follow the channel, follow me on Instagram, you know that's my go-to. Anything's gonna thicken up that brachialis, the muscle in between my bicep and tricep. I want a hammer, big squeeze, trying to get 10 to 15 reps right into a wider gripped easy bar curl. Again, just trying to pump reps there on the second round because my biceps are fucking screaming at me at that point. Now, last thing to finish up biceps for the day is gonna be my absolute favorite bicep exercise. It's gonna be the single arm dumbbell preacher curl. We'll do three sets, and that'll be it for arms. <laughs> That wraps up another successful arm day. Arms have been one of those things in the past where it's just really hard for me to like get into because I'm either doing this or this. And that's just boring. It isn't like hard, heavy back or legs or chest even shoulders because it's more pump based. I, I'm never like truly out of breath. I'm never dry heaving. I'm never in a spot where <laughs> I'm questioning life. So what you want to think about here is with arms, especially for me, since it's an area that I want to try to bring up, what I have to focus on is dialing in mentally and saying, you know what, I'm going to try to get as much blood in my arms as humanly possible until it feels like my skin is going to rip. So if you struggle with that out there, try that. Try refocusing your mind. It's very easy for me to get up on leg day because I'm a little nervous. I, I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be brutal. I know I'm going to question finishing the workout. Well, with arms, it's just pump. It's fun. It's like a beach day. Honestly, that's why I save it to Saturday <laughs> because that way I'm not beat to shit and can actually go home and spend some quality time with my family. And plus, it's the day that I have a little bit less of a demanding schedule. It allows me to focus on a weakness of mine. Really pay attention there. Sets, reps. If you notice that's moderate load, nothing was done super heavy. All about pump. Get in, get out. And now I'm home to eat, rest, and recover. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and we're really looking forward to bringing you more content.